and <laughs> I do not want to get into past trauma, so like, let's move on. But like, okay. So on today's video, we are going to go into. Oh, sorry. My name is Eddie McKenzie. And I'm a rising sophomore, so I'm about to be a sophomore in like two months, which is crazy because <laughs> like I'm a kid, bro. Like I'm literally a kid. So yeah, but 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 as this rising sophomore that I am, as like the mother figure that I am, I had to come through and give you list of things that I wish that I knew before starting <laughs> college I could give you all of the cliche things like uh, you don't need to buy books you should just get the PDF versions or like you should write notes up to class or retain information or like you should try to make new friends and organizations and stuff like that but like I know y'all want the tea so like I'm here to give you the tea, so like, let's go, thanks. <laughs> You've probably heard the saying like college is all about the people, but what you don't know is that during the first few weeks, like people can be fake as hell. Everyone is trying to find friend groups and like put on the best version of themselves out there. You shouldn't take your like, the first people you meet at like, this will be my friends forever, my ride or dies, let's go. But also don't close off that opportunity because out of like the 100 plus people that you meet, you'll find a couple that are chef's kids. You also don't need to find a clique in order to thrive in college. Like I know back in high school, you're used to like, okay, we I have like this side group and friends and this is, and I do all of my things and trouble and go through everything with them. But like in college, like it's not how it works. Like you have different people for different things and it's okay. The next thing that you need to know is that self-care is not optional. It is mandatory. Like I heard that the hard way. We do not need to go into that. We do not need to bring up past trauma in this channel, but like you need to be able to like put yourself first and like be conscious about that because like if you're not conscious about that everything becomes a priority ahead of yourself so like that pizza that you need to finish that midterm that you need to study for socializing with your friends like sometimes you just need to stay in bed and watch that anime or like you need to do something that is good for you like take care of yourself and like make that conscious decision how i did that was by taking saturdays off it did not work for a long time but the days that it worked like i was living my best life guys and i want that for you too you also need to be like open to making new pals so like instead of like sitting in your room and watch your fifth anime episode which is great like sometimes it's needed you know you could go out and like just do random stuff like for example i had this friend with which like sometimes we would knock on random people's doors at forbes and it was awesome we got to like first off have fun memories of like disturbing people or second off be able to like meet new people that actually want to hang out and disturb other people so that's a really good way to meet new people <laughs> money is temporary but memories those are forever like money is temporary trip and memories are forever please and thank you like that's self-explanatory that's self-explanatory let's go people like everyone else looks like they have got it figured out but like we're all just flamingos in a boiling pot like <laughs> We're owing we're all going through stresses, you're all going to self doubt, especially while starting. Like everyone is just <laughs> So yeah, like don't make assumptions about other people, like one thing and the other thing is like yeah, we're all struggling, so like let's struggle together, baby. Let's let's <laughs> let's boil. 
<laughs> together you have a lot of freedom so like if you're not being conscious about different things like you will screw yourself like i'm telling you that you will screw yourself like you need to be able to like okay now i have all of this freedom like if i wanted i could go to bed at 10 a.m and do my quiz at 12 but at the same time do i want to fail no i do not but do i want to have a fun time yes i do so like instead of staying up until 10 a.m i'll stay up until midnight if you do not set boundaries for yourself and stuff like you will screw yourself like that's all i'm trying to say <laughs> that's all i'm trying to say now on to the not so interesting part but like it's necessary because in the end of the day that's what you're there for i guess <laughs> but yeah your grades like i don't know if you're like me but like i used to be super like obsessive about my grades but then college hit me and i was like bro like grades are not that deep like most of the, if you get one thing out of this video is that nothing is that deep like you should be thriving you, know? you should be like happy and doing what you want not suffering so do not do not do not lose sleep like grades are not worth your mental stability like if you need to miss that piece that like it's all right it's all right you need to take advantage of all the different side spaces that exist bro like it's necessary in order to be productive like i know your bed is comfy like i know the pillows are talking to you but <laughs> please go out and try studying and being productive in different places like it's better off that way and like you end up spending less time doing work which means you have more time to do fun stuff avoid morning classes at all costs like i can't tell you the amount of times in which i woke up five minutes before my 8 a.m class and i was like is this worth it i should just go back to sleep like i was being possessed <laughs> by my sleep like that bed was way too comfy for me to be going to class so like don't do that to yourself like your classes i think what is feasible is starting at 11 a.m that's a feasible time like you can be like okay back in high school i used to go to high school at 8 a.m every morning and wake up at 7 a.m or like you watch that you those you productive youtube videos like i wake up at 5 a.m and then i do all of those things first of all they're lying to you they are literally lying to you and second off like why suffer <laughs> like why suffer please do not please do not i don't know if you're like me but like i heard like a bunch of things about office hours before going to college so i was like i need to go to office hours but but there is a star sign there like you need to go to office hours if it's needed like for classes in which you know okay in office hours they go through the whole homework so like i will be doing the homework with other people or, like during office hours this day they will go over the midterm preparation or like in office hours this day like they'll be doing this and this but like if it's office hours for something that you already know or have already covered like please do not waste your time please do not waste our time like live your best life <laughs> live your best life please the other thing is like i was super worried about like damn because princeton is known for being like academically rigorous right and i was like <laughs> okay so when you were starting college like everyone talked about like intellectual curiosity and whatever like that's all you hear about when you start and you're like yeah i want to be intellectual curious like i am intellectual curious like intellectual curiosity is me but like deep down like i was worried about i won't be able to handle it and all of that but one thing that you need to know is that like even through like the super hard 
classes like you find your struggle team and like you will struggle through it together finding your struggle team is usually so important especially for engineering classes because Princeton engineering be throwing hands having your struggle team is super super important like in those weeks in which you have like five different projects and whatever and you're just like I literally can't do this visa right now like I need to worry about something else your struggle team comes in and they're like here's a help like and when someone else in the struggle team is struggling <laughs> as the name says you're there to help them through that struggle so like the struggle team is so important like please please if you're going to any college but like Princeton specifically in doing engineering, if you don't have a struggle team, please look for it because it's necessary. And like, yeah, a way to like gather your struggle team is just like, just saying hey to someone random in class and being like, do you want to work on this later or whatever? You'll find your struggle team, like, don't worry about it. But like, no one will die. No one will die on my watch. I know a lot of y'all have heard about networking in college and like it's really a big deal like it's really a big deal like if you're going to college and like spending four years there like you need to take advantage of all of the resources that your school is providing you so like take advantage of like the career exploration and the network possibilities that you have like go to that talk if you need to go to this um um, career exploration thing in which they will give you advice about this and that because you should be making the most out of every opportunity that you have like please 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 don't be the reason you don't get stuff like please no like you are the g's and i keep on telling you that because it's the truth and along with the lines is that money can be found in the most unexpected places you know you remember my last advice about um money come and goes and stuff like that this is where you get your money like there's a bunch of different organizations and things in college that they are just there to give you free money for different things it can be okay um money to do this or money to do this project or money to do this or money to just eat food or money to um be able to prepare yourself for career and stuff so like you just need to show up and the last thing that I wish that I knew was that, please, 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 I'm begging you, like, please make the most out of it. Like, this is your chance to live your best life. So please live it. I'm asking you, please, please, like, please live it. Like, this is your chance for you to, like, explore different things and do different things that you might enjoy or stuff that you didn't even know that you might enjoy or just, like, make some irresponsible and quite frankly doubtful choices but it's necessary you know it's necessary so please just make the most out of it okay so if you enjoyed this tips which i i, I know you did like please give a heads up because i'm trying to make more content coming soon especially the summer before i'm struggling again through college so keep a lookout for that so yeah my name is erin and thank you for watching